The Federal High Court sitting in Benin has restrained itself from further hearing of the suit challenging the decision of the APC NWC to hold direct primaries to pick its candidate for the Edo State governorship election. The court on Monday, June 8, adjourned hearing to the suit to June 11. The suit was instituted by a group loyal to the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki. The suit sought to stop the primaries of the All Progressive Congress scheduled for June 22, as the Edo State governor insisted on the party having indirect primaries. The court further ordered that all court processes be transferred to the Court of Appeal for hearing due to the application for stay of proceedings filed by the APC. According to the calendar of primaries published by INEC, the APC will hold direct primaries to pick its candidate for the election as submitted by the National Working Committee of the party. Governor Basaki had filed the suit seeking to stop the party from holding direct primaries. The APC governorship candidacy is being hotly contested for by Osage Ize Iyamu and incumbent Godwin Obaseki. We're now joined by legal practitioner Obia Maka Ajibu. Thank you very much for joining us. Nice to be on air with you. Yeah. Please, could you explain to us what this court restraining itself really means? What it means is that an appeal has gone to a higher authority. There are, there are different grades, there are different st stages of the law of um, hearing your case. It starts from magistrate, you have a right to appeal to the federal, to the high court, then from the high court to the court of appeal, then to the Supreme Court. Being that the APC had already filed an appeal in the court of appeal, it behoves the federal high court, the lower court, not to, not to hear any, not to hear the suit anymore, out of, out of, out of principle. So, do you expect that the hearing in the higher court will happen before the June 22nd? It might do because it's a matter of um, urgency. They might put an urgency in it and it might, it might just be that. It might just, do, it might just be done. What would Alternatively, happen? Alternatively, if it is not done, it will be done maybe. That, that would now constitute a case for when the elections have been done and dusted. That's when you see that they will now reverse it and say, no, Mr. Mr. A was not the duly appointed um, candidate for the governorship. So the governor has to step down for Mr. B. That's, that's the situation that is unfolding. So what is the possible scenario? Should this case not go to court? Um, do you see uh, the Obaseki camp going along with the NWC and then subsequently, like you alluded, there will be litigation? Well, it's, um, I, I see Obaseki is, is in a tight rope now. And um, the, um, the Oshomalin-led uh, um, NWC is hell-bent on making him not go a second time. So he can, he, can either, he can either play and do the primary, which, would, which has already been, which from all indications will not favor him, and then wait for the outcome in court. And that's assuming they win the, they win the election, the general election. What worries you the most about the scenario playing out in Edo State at the moment? Well, it's the, it's the, it's the state of lawlessness that, 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 may, um, that may occur. That's what worries me. Because when, when there's a, a lock of horns like this, it leads to violence because there are talks on each side and it may lead to violence and possibly loss of life. That's the worry. But, but the law, whether it is, it is late or not, the law always, always, uh, always does good by us. Let's look forward to the best. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Okay, thank you.